Hey guys, we're on Tarbuck here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on Seneca County Map. This is the tournament. This is day number four. So today is Monday. Or no, today's Tuesday. Wow. Week's flying by. Got a couple days left of the tournament. We're about halfway through. Or probably not quite. But anyway, we bought this big chunk of land last night. Um, we got it all running. This morning I decided to jump on. Run the, uh, I don't know, there we go. There we go. We're, we might sell this grain card, honestly. I don't know. We're going to sell some soybeans to get some money. We almost have our loan paid off already. So that's good, 60000 But we're going to actually bring our loan back out because we're going to buy a new, uh, new tractor. We're going to be getting a Massey Ferguson, I think. This little, little girl here. Or maybe we might, we're might we going to get this. I think we're going to get one of these and put it on the grain cart. Now, I feel like this would handle the grain cart all right, but it might be a little big. Just a little big, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure how it'll fit. But anyway, we're out doing contracts. We're trying to make our money back. Stuff like that. Um. Yeah, so what happened was... So I decided I'm going to leave for school. So I said, all right, I'm going to hire out the worker right here, plant in field 75. Hired out the worker. He went all the way down. Continued going all the way through this and turning around like this. So he planted all this, and then he ran out of seed right there. So kind of my bad. I kind of messed that one up. So now we don't have to harvest this, which is, I guess, a good thing. But we kind of ruined our crop there. So we'll have to kind of harvest. We'll probably just plant... I don't know, that's kind of a mess. I kind of wish I wouldn't have hired out that worker and just waited till now, did the worker, and then did the worker on this field. But we are going to be getting a new planter with the new tractor, or a new drill, I should say, because I sold the disc and I sold the other thing, and I'm thinking about selling this grain cart. But I don't know how much it'll sell for. Yeah, it'll sell for probably about 50000 So we'll see. We're going to take out a loan now. Hoping this contract will get done pretty quick. But yeah, we're going to take out a loan, and really the loan interest isn't that bad. There's only three grand, and I had like 300000 so that ain't terrible. We're going to take it out again, and we're going to buy, or we're going to look at drills, because we're going to look into cedars and whatnot. So I kind of want to go just big and just buy this and this, but this is 11 mile an hour at 18, and this is 13 mile an hour at 18. What's the price? 212 it's actually cheaper. So it's cheaper to buy this setup here versus that. But it's actually cheaper to buy all this by this. But it's 18 and 9. But I think for the price, it will be better. But I feel like you have to cultivate in front of this, dude. And I keep forgetting to pull up my sink warning stuff. Because I'm curious. I'm sure Hank said it. Yeah, Hank says it. But I never have it pulled up. But anyway, we'll let Hank sink in. And we'll think on the old think on this a little bit here shoot we let the combine get full all right so i haven't really decided it or made up my mind what i want to get yet but i'm definitely going to get a cedar because it does canola and soybeans and that's usually my main deal and i can do milo if i want so really i didn't need a planner i didn't think that through i wasn't using my brain and thinking that through should have bought this and this to start with or this planner but this goes nine mile an hour at 18 so this I mean, I can buy two of these for what I can buy this. I'm going to downsize the tractor. So I think I'll buy this just to start out with. We're going to do the three points so it'll turn short. We're going to buy that, and I'm hoping it's no-till. I'm hoping that it's no-till. Really, really hoping it's no-till. But then we can run our large two-wheel drive on it. 210 horse, and what do we need to pull it? Oh boy, 320. That's a little more than I thought. Yeah, he's going to go down and he'll probably mess up. I don't know. Maybe he's going to get it right. We'll see. We'll just let him do his thing. Let the old hired worker do its thing. And this guy up here should be about done or close to getting there. 92% done. So we're going to let him run contracts. And yeah, we also need to fertilize this field again and we need to finish planting this field. We might as well plant this to soybeans, the rest of it. Probably do that with their new planner and whatnot. 
but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the tractor up, this tractor up to the cedar, and then my other tractor that I get will put on the wagon. I think I'm going to get that massy. That's what I think I'm going to get because it should handle this, and it should be able to handle the planter too if this tractor is ever sold or anything. We'll look in large tractors, see what's cheap in that category. We might buy a large tractor. I don't think we will. We could buy another Steiger, but I don't really like the Steiger on the grain cart. I like more of a two-wheel drive tractor because the Steiger articulates and it like swings the grain cart around and stuff. It's kind of weird. All right, so let's look into large tractors, see what we got for that. We could buy the Alice, but I feel like the Alice, I don't know. You know, the Alice would be a nice cheap version of it, but I kind of want to go a little bigger. I would really like to buy one of these, but those are so expensive. In fact, I might buy this instead. But I really know, I really know that one guy wants a Massey. But this one goes 43 mile an hour. That'd be awesome on a grain cart tractor. I don't know. I gotta decide. We'll, we'll ask the uh, boys on here. We'll see what they say. Alright, we'll see what they say to that. And I am starting to lag, so that's good. We'll get that all finished up. Right, let's get this combine straightened up here. Contract finished. Yeah, shut that off. We'll get this combine running. Yeah, we'll just turn it around. Fire him out. Get him running. Get him moving again. I think we'll be done pretty early tonight, actually. Since I'm not lagging, it's actually a miracle how, well, now as I start lagging. Tanner says Challenger. Tanner knows I want the Challenger. That's like my one of my favorite tractors. So, yeah. But yeah, if we get, we'll probably get this field knocked out. I mean, it's a lot nicer when you don't, when the crops don't yield as much. Like soybeans, they don't yield as much, but they still give you money type of thing. Where Milo and wheat and that yield a lot, but they don't, they, the price isn't that high. So that's why I like that. And Ryan keeps leaving the server. He, what he should do is, uh... Run. Um. <clears throat> what was I? Saying? Oh, what he should do is restart his computer just before he joins. Just restart it, because he's gonna sink here again, and it's gonna mess us up again. So that's kind of that's kind of a pain when I'm trying to record and people keep sinking in, and also driving over my crap. Crops, it's crops, I should say. Alright, so we're going to get a Challenger, because Tanner said Challenger, and I want a Challenger, so we'll get a Challenger, and then, there we go, and we'll put it on the grain cart, and then we don't want big tires, we want big bad Michelin tires here, I'm going to make it look good, apparently I can't, oh, here we go, so Firestones, looks like that's all we can do. See what we got for real wide tires. So we just got that. We just got the big Goodyears and then the Michelins. You know what? Big floaters, we'll run that. GPS is a must. Big engine setup. Ooh, big price on that. So three hundred forty thousand. Holy cow! What's this one? This one's three hundred thirty, three hundred seventy. Dang. Maybe not. I think we'll get the Massey. I think we'll get the Massey. We'll get. Plus, you can get the tires to look better. Front fenders, PTO, we'll do weight. Front loader, don't need that. Engine, big engine. 230, so we went from 330 to 230, something like that. There we go, we'll buy that baby. Shoot, we'll have to take out a loan. Should buy the old 71 series. We'll buy a little money. Probably gonna have to max out our loan and not quite get there. Let's collect our contract. Dang, we gotta max out a loan. Maxed out long again. Oh well, it'll be okay. We'll get it paid off. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. We'll get it paid off. We'll get it taken care of. All right. By tonight, we'll get it taken care of. 
just doing this so we can get our crops planted back in the ground front fenders yes front loader gps yes big engine yes i guess we wouldn't have to put the big engine in it but we're gonna do it anyway just because it's a medium sized tractor and we kind of probably want a little power to it power to the ground all right so we'll go bring that home we're gonna unload the combine quick and do that see the downside with this tractor is it's hard to catch the uh it's hard to catch up like that when you got a slower tractor see this other tractor should go about 32 mile an hour and it should work pretty good we'll see and i need to change my gps deal so that i can just hit alt e and enter and then it'll go right into the thing that'll be nice see because it's right on the edge you got to be real careful but at least this you can dump on the go see i didn't have gps in the semi which what i should have done cheap sold the grain cart put gps on the semi and then i could have just drove next to it but i kind of like the wagon you know especially when you get more combines running it's nice to have the extra storage too because you can fill up the semi and then fill up the wagon and then by the time all that happens usually you have time to dump the truck because usually what happens is you get the truck to the town that you want to sell it at like i had to sell barley all the way up here across the map all the way at the top of the map well you had to drive all the way across by the time i got to the elevator the common was full so it's it was nice to have the grain cart unload in the middle but i never really this is the first year we're using the grain cart we do have a lot more acres we pretty much tripled our acres which was crazy but yeah, we've tripled our acres. So that's crazy to think about. <laughs> All right, so there she is, the old 7726. Massey Ferguson. Wyatt, hope you're happy, buddy. We got you a Massey. Although we didn't put, like, the front weights on it, but that's okay. Oh, boy, she's spinning out. Doesn't like it, does she? There we go. We'll get her going. I don't know why it's... Okay, we got to put front weights on this, baby. We're going to have to put a little weight on the front, especially if we're going to put it on the wagon because the wagon's got a lot of hitch weight, especially that wagon. I hate how you have to like drive it into the wall. Still haven't customized it. There we go. Customize weights. There we go. Five grand for that. Oof da. There we go. Alrighty. We'll get that solved. There we go. Okay. Now, I shut my phone off just now, so there's going to be a Snapchat going on. I know there is. Every time. Every time I think, alright, no one's going to Snapchat me for a while. Alright, we'll shut my phone off. And about five minutes later, bloop. Oh, well, I got a Snapchat. Makes all kinds of noise. There we go. That's a little better. Drive a little better now. Alright, so we'll pull this big boy home. This is a big, big boy. But we can go nine me mile an hour, plus the hired workers supported on this as well. I guess I kind of forgot about that. The hired worker does work with this. The other drill it does, but you have to do like three rounds around the border because it takes so long to turn around. But I think the hired worker definitely, this would be a definite better option. I guess kind of forgot some stuff. I'm a little rusty on a tournament. I haven't played in a tournament in a while. And all that. So I'm kind of forgetting some things that are pr very important to it. Looks like Hank's starting to harvest. We're going to easily get all this harvested, this harvested, and planted in the ground before tonight which will be good because i was kind of worried about that because if i because it took me all night to harvest this this and this field i didn't even get this harvested last night i got this one done and that one done and then yeah that was it so it takes me about an hour to field so this will probably take an hour and a half hour and a half so that's you know a couple hours but it's nice to have this drill because we'll be able to plant canola soybeans all sorghum you can plant tobacco, or think tobacco's banned, actually. I think I banned tobacco. I don't remember. You can plant black beans. We might do some black beans this year. Rice, corn, sunflowers. So apparently this is an all-in-one planter. So you can literally plant everything with this thing. We're probably going to do canola. 
or I guess sunflowers. I sold the sunflower header because I thought I wasn't going to buy a planter. We might try, uh, what's the price for black beans? Ooh, 50. If the price for black beans is 60 or 70, if it's 70 or 80, actually, I'll plant black beans. Unless the bean price is just crap, which it's decent. So we're not going to do black beans. We are going to do canola because canola is there. And I'm pretty sure a lot of... Yeah, what did they plant? Black beans? Where's the combine at? We got to get the combine unloaded. Get in the wagon. I guess he ain't full. I guess I don't have to worry. The semi is full, so I have to go sell that. Anyway, I think this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. We're going to plant the rest of the farm to canola, all of it to canola. And that's how it's going to work. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy, hit that thumbs up button. These guys are wanting me to do some stuff. And we will see you all in the next one.